Hi there, buds. During Christmas break, I broke my very favorite bowl. You guys know that I got this about maybe a month or two ago and I've already broke it. It dropped off of my desk and shattered into two pieces. So I was looking online for some different types of bowls just because I wanted something different. I feel like the number one problem that I have with bowls is that they get clogged super easily. And I feel like that's because there's only one hole in a bowl. So I looked online to see if I could find something a little bit different. And I found this bowl that I think I have never seen anything like it before and I think it's super impressive. I've used it over the break quite a few times and it functions extremely well so I am proud to show you guys the 25 hole bowl. There are legitimately 25 holes in this bowl. It is a 32 millimeter bowl that is attached to a 14 millimeter joint so the bowl is massive which I love because you guys know I hate packing bowls like that's my least favorite thing to do in the world is to pack bowls so this is a massive ass bowl with 25 holes in it so I'm sure it will not get clogged hopefully um but let's smoke out of this I'll show you guys its function it really does function extremely well the one thing that I will say that I have not liked about it is that it is a bitch to clean as you guys can imagine each one of those little holes gets clogged up with resin and uh, basically I had to use a toothpick to kind of just like poke through each of them because it did get clogged eventually but it took a lot longer than it normally does for my bowls to get clogged. I already have some Cherry White Widow ground up in the Buds and Beards grinder so I will load that up into this bowl and I'll show you guys the function. When you first start to use it like right out of the package because none of the holes are clogged the airflow is insane and almost like not in a good way like it's almost too much airflow to start with but once you use it one or two times a few of the holes will start to get clogged up with resin and legitimately it makes the perfect bowl like i swear it's really really nice and even when you first start to use it it's not that it's like unusable it's just it takes some like getting used to because you're just not used to this much airflow from your bong it just feels like you don't have the proper seal or something even though you do and you get massive clouds from it anyways I guess I'll show you guys the function of it this is made in the USA by the way um by a glass worker in New Mexico I got it on eBay but it is like made in the USA American made glass so I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video just in case any of you guys are interested all right let's light her up i feel like i should like get close up to the camera so that you guys can really see the function of the smoke going down through it all right you guys cheers Whew. but as you guys can see that smoke cloud was massive and thick and nice I love this bowl. It's a great like party piece, but it's also like great for somebody who just like does not like packing bowls and who just corners their bowls like me. Whew, this is amazing. And I feel like because of the shape of it, all of those holes are actually functional. Like even when you're only using the right side of the bowl, those holes on the left side still are like pulling through air and it creates like almost a cyclone in here and you can kind of tell that the smoke's all gathering up and like collecting and building up and I feel like that's what makes the hit so big Whew. I'm out of breath trying to talk and hit this Whew. let's hit it again cheers you guys I always feel like I have to hold my bong at such an awkward angle to like get it all in the frame. Maybe I should start sitting farther back when I use a bong so that you guys can like actually see the full thing, you know? I'll turn it this way so you guys can see it too. <laughs> Cheers!
I always feel like I have to be so close to the camera and I don't. The one thing that I do not like about this bowl is that because it is so big, you have to hit the like already hit part, the black part or ash part multiple times because there's actually still hits in there because the green is underneath that ash. So you don't get a green fresh hit every single time because you do have to end up re-hitting that ash at least once or twice. Even when the bowl is like all the way burnt all the way around, there's still a few hits in it because it's so damn big. But overall, you guys, I am not mad at this purchase and I'm so glad that it was an American made like glass piece made by a little glass blowing shop. <coughs> I'm telling you guys, if you guys are interested in like small glass bowls or dabbers or just like small little glass stoner accessories, eBay is a great place to look. There are a ton of shops and ton of glass artists who sell their art almost exclusively through eBay. And I have been like learning about, I knew like that eBay was a big marketplace for weedy stuff, but I didn't know how big it was until this last year when I started really ordering stuff. Like, dude, like almost every, not every artist, but a lot of artists nowadays have a presence on eBay. So check out eBay for like some of the stoner accessories like bowls or slides or banger stuff like that you can tend to find on eBay for a really good price and as long as you make sure to purchase from somebody within the United States you get it super duper fast like I've been getting everything in within like two to three days <laughs> I'm stoned and I'm rambling, but yeah, multi-hole bowls. Have you guys ever seen this? Leave a comment below if you've ever seen anything like this. Like, I guess you would call it maybe like a honeycomb bowl because it has like a honeycomb perk in it, which is kind of functioning as that multi-hole part of it. But I've never seen one of these before. Leave a comment if you've seen these before because I definitely had it. And I would definitely recommend these. I wish that there were more on the market because legitimately when I purchased this one, I don't think I saw any other ones. Like when I looked for multi-hole bowls, there's just not a lot out there. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I do three new weedy videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys around for whatever stony activity or video I come up with for next time. Bye guys. I just love the clouds from this bowl.